What's going on guys? So today we are out here at Colonia Del Rey RV in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we're gonna take a look at this really, really cool floor plan. So this is a Coachman Chaparral light fifth wheel. This is definitely on the lighter end of your larger fifth wheels, and it's gonna have a lot of really cool features, and one's really, really specific one that I like. Hang tight, we'll be right back. All right, as always, before we get started, let's take a look at the numbers on this unit. So this Chaparral is gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 11,500 pounds, so it is relatively light. It's gonna have a cargo capacity of 1,963 pounds, and it's gonna ride on twin 5,100 pound axles. It's gonna have E-rated tires, now, what's cool about this is that you can get away with a heavy duty truck that's a little smaller and lighter than some of your larger trucks that you typically would need to haul something like, say this Brookstone next to you. So as long as you have the cargo capacity, which will probably be in about the 2,000 to 2,500 pound range, for the pin weight as well as all the occupants and everything inside of the truck, you'd probably be fine using something like a three quarter ton truck with the appropriate package for something like this. But this is a really cool trailer. I can't wait to show you the inside. So this is the Coachman Chaparral Light 30 BHS. They use Asdel now both on the outside and the inside wall, which is really nice because you don't have any more wood on the inside or the outside of this wall and it's foam on the inside. So it's pretty much a completely composite wall. Very cool. All right, let's step inside going up the Lippert steps. So I'm gonna start back here and we're gonna work our way to the front. All right. You can see this has the kitchen in the middle, rear living room, floor plan, nice freestanding table. You can see they have the price listed here. Has an MSRP of 78,857, has a sale price of $52,976. Really, really cool interior to it. So you have kind of a sofa love seat right here. This is gonna fold out into a bed. You don't have any carpet on this side at all. You have a small piece of carpet here underneath your theater seating. This is where your TV would go on the wall. Typically you'd want to put like a, uh, a swivel mount back here. You have your sound bar right here. You have a nice wide Furion panoramic fireplace. Plus some cabinetry here as well. Magnetic hold. I like that they switched to that. Up here, more storage. You have more traditional holds here. A lot of windows. So you got windows here, windows here, windows surrounding this whole space right here. You're gonna have solar on this unit as well, but I'm not exactly sure how much power they put up there. Again, you have your theater seating here. More storage above it. On this side, you're gonna have your height of bed. Freestanding dinette, complete with a little flip up extension here if you want some more room. And then this is your peninsula style island, 12 volt refrigerator. And I think it opens from this side. Very nice. Definitely a lighter color scheme than you would typically see. High point compact microwave. Three burner cooktop. Got more drawers. I love the fact that they give you a ton of drawers. Very nice. Thermofoil countertop. And then I love the contrasting tones here. So you have dark and then light tones and it really, really blends in well. Pantry space right here. And you got more storage under the sink. One thing I really like that they've done, and I believe it was part of the collaboration we had with them, was to extend this all the way up so you have as much space under here as possible for like a garbage bin or other things you may want to store. Large stainless steel single basin sink. Standard faucet. These have magnetic holds up here. Then you have a nice little light fixture above. Furion air conditioning back here. This is a really cool floor plan. All right, so as we work our way back, so this is the mid bunk, and it's not on a slide out, which is kind of cool because you don't have to worry about another slide out. So no slide out, but you have two bunks in here, good size bunks, one down here, one up top. You have wardrobe storage right here as well. And you have a spot to put a TV. You have all your connections there as well as more storage above. And this can lift up and you can pin it in place if you want more room down here. It's very cool. It's gonna be your fuse and breaker panel. 
Nice wide hallway also. Feels very spacious. Here's your control panel, your slides, lights, water heater, all of that. You have a porcelain foot flush toilet, porcelain sink, thermofoil countertop, nice medicine cabinet in the corner. And here is your cornered shower. You could probably be upwards of about 6'3 to comfortably fit in this space. Towel holder here, as well as a skylight above. And this is a slide out, so your wardrobe area is in a slide because your bed is north-south facing. So basically it, it's on this wall right here and it faces back. So the only way to give you the space you need for wardrobe is to put it in a slide. And it's a pretty good size slide in terms of depth. So it feels pretty much like a full-size closet you might typically see. A lot of room in here, plus some nice mirrors on the cabinets themselves queen size bed and let's look underneath it so you got quite a bit of storage under here they put a drawer right here that's your 50 amp cable they put some storage on this side and then a nice little area in the center here that's pretty cool actually very creative how they've done that you got your end tables over here complete with pockets you got your power ports above them you have USB on this side but I don't see USB on that side we have another Furion air conditioning unit up here, and it's all ducted. Huge window on this side, kind of a compact window on that side. But yeah, this is a mid-profile unit, so you're going to see how the roof line kind of slopes down a little bit right there. Your backer for your TV is going to be right here. You have your power and your cable connections above it. Let's go out this way. Very cool. What do you guys think? Anyways, let's step to the outside of this unit and see what it's all about. Okay, starting from the front and working our way back. First of all, the front nose cap looks beautiful on this. They've done a great job giving it a very classy, upscale look to it. Then you have some LED strips right there on each side. Standard front pin box. You could easily upgrade that to whatever one you want. One of the reasons why I kind of like seeing the standard pin box on RVs is because it does give you the flexibility of putting whatever you want on there without having to remove an expensive one. This unit does not have auto leveling. Nice thick baggage doors, nice slam latches. A lot of storage space underneath here. This does not ride on a drop frame. That's why you see this area right here kind of protruding up a little bit. You can see the radiant barrier, plus you can see the aluminum bath deck support. Again, good slam latches. It is wired for Furion side view cameras. 110 outlet right there. Under here you have a gas line connection for like a barbecue grill. Again, this is going to be your Lippert steps, your Lippert solid steps. Has a friction hinge on the door. This is going to run Arrowhead tires. Not familiar with them. But what is really nice and I'm very familiar with is the Road Armor suspension from LCI with heavy duty shackle straps, greasable wet bolts. That is really, really good to see. Plus you can see the reinforced shackle hangers on all parts of the shackles. This is really nice. Rack and pinion slide out under here. Very, very clean frame as well. Spare tire was also hung under there if you missed it. Going around to the back. Four inch tubular bumper. Great place to stow your sewer hose. You have LED lighting. It is prepped for a Furion wireless backup camera. And then you have your stabilization system right here. It's power stabilizers can extend and retract plus another rack and pinion slide out right here nice windows all the way around you want to make sure that vent is open if you're going to be cooking on the inside so you don't just recirculate the air here's your sewer connection 50 amp connection outside of your water heater outside of your furnace other rear view or side view camera this is going to be for your black tank flush city water connection outside shower and the other side of your pass-through storage, as well as your ability to change the settings for different types of water use. And then all of your connections up there. Very cool. It's gonna have a spot, I believe, for 30 pound propane cans. Yep, you have 30 pound propane cans on each side. What do you guys think of this unit? Pretty neat, I love that mid-bunk space. 
it's really nice when they're able to incorporate space like that into a floor plan without having to add another slide. Slides are great and they definitely expand the amount of room you have, but at the same time it's just another mechanical component to deal with. A Schwintech slide mechanism up here, but very cool. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please leave a comment below, take a moment, subscribe to the channel, and give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you again very soon.